assalamu alaikum students welcome back to physiologics youtube channel in this video we will be covering mcqs related to biostatistics and research methodology before that video we have uploaded mcq series on kinesiology and there are basically two videos and 50 mcqs have been discussed in those videos if you have not watched them before just go and check them out let's start mcqs related to biostats and research methodology mcq number one you are conducting experimental research on low back pain patients in your research you noticed a value that is different for each patient a value in the research that is not fixed and may change from individual to individual is known as option a constant option b variable option c change option d variability and the correct option is variable anything any value that is not fixed and may change from individual to individual is known as variable mcq number two an observational study in which the researcher records the data of patients from exposure to an outcome at multiple occasions is option a cross-section study option b descriptive study option c cohort study option d rct study and the correct option is option c cohort study in cohort study we follow the individuals from exposure to outcomes suppose uh, you are studying uh, smoking patients and you want to study the effect of smoking on lungs and when they start smoking you start following them and till the uh, arrival of any uh, abnormality in the lungs that is basically an outcome so you start when there was exposure to the cigarettes and you follow till they have any effect so you follow from exposure to the outcome this comes under the category of cohort study cross-section study in cross-section study we only collect data at one time and in descriptive studies it is basically related to cross-section study and in our city study it is not an observational study it is an experimental study mcq number three an experimental study in which patients divided conven conveniently into two groups and one group is given certain treatment along with baseline treatment while the other group is given just baseline treatment is which of the following option a randomized control trial option b cross-section study option c quasi experimental study and option d longitudinal cohort study so you have to focus on two things Two to three things first it is an experimental study and the patients are divided conveniently into two groups and one group is given a treatment along with baseline treatment while the other group is given just baseline treatment so which of the following is the correct option and the correct option is quasi experimental study basically longitudinal cohort study it is an observation study so it is an incorrect option cross-section study it is also an observational study so it is not a correct option the confusion is between two rct and quasi experimental study in the randomized control trial or randomized control study the individuals are divided randomly into two groups and the sampling that is used in rct is simple random sampling so this is a basic difference and the type of experimental study in which there is lack of randomization or there is lack of control group is known as quasi experimental study mcq number four you want to evaluate the effects of ultrasound in 10 salva patients you include 20 patients in your study and divide them randomly into groups you treat one group of patients with ultrasound therapy and exercises another group with just exercises at the end of sessions you record the intensity of pain via a numeric pain rating scale which of the following is an independent variable in this study <coughs> so it is an experimental study and you are studying the effects of ultrasound therapy on pain that is being recorded with the help of numeric pain rating scale so the options are exercise option b ultrasound therapy option c pain intensity and option d randomization and the correct option is b ultrasound therapy any variable that causes change in another variable is known as independent variable and in experimental studies or rct 
the treatment provided to the patient is basically independent variable in this case we are providing ultrasound therapy and we want to look at the effects of ultrasound so ultrasound therapy is the independent variable mcv number five retrospective cohort studies are the ones in which the researcher follows individuals from option a outcome to exposure option b exposure to outcome option c outcome to outcome and option d none of these and the correct option is option a outcome to exposure basically cohort studies are longitudinal studies in which we follow individuals from time to time either we follow them from exposure to outcome or we follow them from outcome to exposure if we are following them from exposure to outcome it is a prospective cohort study and if we are following them from outcome to exposure, they are known as retrospective cohort studies. MCV number six, a variable that can be manipulated in the research is called dependent variable, independent variable, quantitative variable, or qualitative variable. And the correct option is option B, independent variable. This is the variable we just discussed in the previous scenario. MCQ number seven, you want to evaluate the effects of ultrasound in 10 cell patients. You include 20 patients in your study and divide them randomly into groups. <clears throat> you treat one group of patients with ultrasound therapy and exercises, another group with just exercises. At the end of sessions, you record the intensity of pain via a numeric pain rating scale. Which of the following is the dependent variable in this study? Option A, exercise. Option B, ultrasound therapy. Option C, pain intensity, and option D, randomization. And the correct option here is option C, pain intensity. The variable that causes effect is known as depend independent variable, and the variable on which there is effect is known as dependent variable. And in this research, we are evaluating the effect of ultrasound on the pain intensity. So ultrasound therapy is an independent variable, whereas pain intensity is a dependent variable. MCQ number 8, you are planning an experimental research study and your supervisor has instructed you to choose either a quasi-experimental study or a randomized controlled trial design. What is the difference between a quasi-experimental study and a randomized controlled trial study? Option A, lack of randomization. Option B, lack of control group. Option C, lack of intervention. Option D, both A and B. And the correct option is option D both A and B there are two differences between a quasi experimental study and a randomized control trial in the randomized control trial the individuals are randomly divided into two groups and there is always a control group present in a quasi experimental study they may lack the lack of random randomization or they may lack the presence of a control group so the option D both A and B is correct option MCQ number nine prospective cohort studies are the ones in which the researcher follows individuals from outcome to exposure exposure to outcome outcome to outcome or none of these and the correct option is option B exposure to outcome as discussed in previous MCQs MCQ number 10 which of the following is not a part of Neuer measurement scale? Option A, nominal. Option B, random. Option C, interval. And option D, ordinal. And the correct option here is option B, random. In the Neuer measurement scale, the four scales are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Random is not any measurement scale. MCQ number 11, which of the following test is used in statistics to check association between two variables? Option A, Z-test, Option B, T-test, Option C, Chi-square test, and Option D, mean. And the correct option here is Option C, Chi-square test. Chi-square is a non-parametric test that is used to check association between two variables. MCQ number 12, you are conducting research on patients with low back pain. You ask a patient about their smoking status and there are two options as answer. Option 1, yes. Option 2, no. 
The data is type of which of the following measurement scale? Option A, nominal. Option B, ordinal. Option C, ratio. Option D, double. So in this MCQ, you need to record the data of the patient. There are two options of the question that is yes or no. So the correct option here is option A, nominal. When you have such data that can be divided into such categories, either yes, no, maybe this comes under the category of nominal data. MCQ number 13, variables in research that have unwanted effects on the outcome of interest besides the main treatment variables and can affect the results of study are known as option A, dependent variables, option B, independent variables, option C, confounding variables, and option D, binary variables. So we are talking about the variables that can have effect <coughs> on the outcome of the interest apart from independent variables and the correct option here is option C, confounding variables. Confounding variables are the variables that have undesired effects on our main outcomes and they cannot be sometimes controlled. MCQ number 14, you are conducting a research on children to estimate the effect of physical activity on body weight. Which of the following is independent variable in this research? Option A, physical activity. Option B, children. Option C, body weight. And option D, none of these. And the correct option here is option A, physical activity. Again, the variable that causes effect on another variable is known as independent variable and the variable on which the effect is being checked is the dependent variable. And in this research, the physical activity is causing effect on the body weight. So physical activity is independent variable. MC number 15, a researcher published a research on the effects of kinesio tapping on low back pain and concluded that kinesio tapping is effective in low back pain. When you critically appraise the research, you found out that the statistics does not support the conclusion and there was an error in reporting of results. The researcher rejected the null hypothesis, whereas it was true. The, research, the researcher has committed which of the following error? Option A, type 1 error. Option B, type 2 error. Option C, type 3 error. Option D, type 4 error. In this whole MCQ, you just have to focus on this line. The researcher has rejected the null hypothesis, whereas it was true. And the correct option here is option A, type 1 error. There are basically two types of errors. One is type 1 error known as alpha error and type 2 error known as beta error. The type 1 error occurs when a researcher rejects null hypothesis when it is true. And the type 2 error is when the null hypothesis is accepted when it is actually false. So the correct option here is option A, type 1 error. MCQ number 16, type 2 error is also known as alpha error, beta error, 1 minus alpha error and 1 minus beta error. And the correct option here is option B, beta error. The type 1 error is known as alpha error, is known as alpha and type 2 error is known as beta. MCQ number 17, you are preparing a synopsis for your research and is currently writing null and alternate hypothesis of your planned study. Which of the following statements best describes the null hypothesis? Option A, there is significant difference between two interventions. Option B, there is no significant difference between two interventions. Option C, intervention A is superior to intervention B and option D, none of the above. And the correct option here is Option B, there is no significant difference between two interventions. Whenever you are constructing a null hypothesis, it always states that there is no statistically significant difference between two interventions. And the alternate hypothesis states that there is actually a difference between two interventions. Either intervention A is superior, B is superior, or both interventions have significant effects on your studied condition. MCQ number 18, you are reporting results of a study and need to be sure whether the results are significant or not. 
which of the following options is most widely accepted marker of significance option a p value of less than 0.02 option b p value of less than 0.03 option c p value of less than 0.05 and option d p value of more than 0.05 and the correct option here is option c p value of less than 0.05 you need to remember that the p value of less than 0.05 is considered a marker of significance if your statistic result shows p value of less than 0.05 then your results are significant mcq number 19 which of the following numbers denote positive correlation between two variables option a plus one option b zero option c minus one and option d minus two and the correct option here is option a plus one plus one denotes positive correlation between two variables whereas zero denotes no correlation and minus one denotes negative correlation between two variables MCQ number 20, you have conducted a cross-sectional research and now working on the data analysis. You are confused whether you should apply a t-test or z-test. The t-test is applied in which of the following conditions. Option A, N, that is sample size is more than 30 and the population variance is known. Option B, N is less than 30 and the population variance is unknown. Option C, N is more than 40 and population variance known. And option D, N is more than 40 and population variance unknown. And the correct option is option B, the sample size is less than 30 and the population variance is unknown. MCU number 21, the ANOVA stands for option A, analysis of variable, option B, analysis of variability, option C, analysis of variance, and option D, analysis of variance. And the correct option is option c analysis of variance mcq number 22 which of the following scales is used to categorize the data of gender option a nominal option b ordinal option c interval option d ratio to categorize uh, the data of gender you will be have you having three options either he is male female or transgender so how would you classify the data which measurement scale would you use the correct option here is option a nominal scale mcq number 23 abp stands for option a evidence-based practice option b evidence-based spectacle option c experiment-based practice and option d epidemiology-based practice and the correct option is option a evidence-based practice mcq number 24 you need to collect data of fasting blood glucose levels of 103 patients which of the following research designs is best suitable for this purpose option a longitudinal study option b cohort study option c cross-sectional study option d experimental study and the correct option here is option c cross section study when you need to collect data for only one time and it is an observational study the best design that you can use is cross section study design mcq number 25 which of the following sampling is best suited for rct that is randomized controlled trial option a simple random sampling option b convenient sampling option c snowball sampling and option d quarter sampling and the correct option here is option a simple random sampling for rct the sampling must be random sampling and simple random sampling is a type of random or probability sampling so there these were the total 25 mcqs the next 25 mcqs will be coming in coming days if you have any questions or any suggestions for the upcoming videos you can just comment down below 